it is three o'clock in the morning right now and i am packing up my truck and ready to drive to stewart pick up cheyenne and then head to west palm to get to the airport it is way too early to film right now all right you guys so now that it's 5 30 it's a little bit more normal to be filming not at 3 a.m <laughs> unfortunately the starbucks here in the west palm airport it's not closed but whoever's working it is super late and it's supposed to open at 5 and it's 5 25 and we're gonna board in a couple minutes so we're gonna have to wait to get coffee probably in dallas um, at our second airport at our layover and then we're going to be flying to oklahoma so there's this new thing on instagram if you guys are on instagram um, there's a subscription service it's really new i'm testing it out it's pretty cool um, you can go to my Instagram, islandkey underscore, and subscribe, and I will be posting updates, personal life, um, you know, little sneak peeks before I post videos, or maybe like sneak peeks during I'm filming videos, um, just a bunch of stuff I wouldn't normally maybe post on my regular page. So check that out if you're interested, and we're just going to wait here with our coffee-less selves tired coffee let's <laughs> oh hold on so i wish i had filmed this so we're going through security and Cheyenne. so i'm like cheyenne you can't have anything sharp bullets knives like you know you can't have anything in your carry-on bag and she uses i guess the same bag to hunt with yeah this was my kentucky bag just got back about two days ago so a tree saw ended up at the bottom of this and i didn't know until the lady asked me are you sure there's no sharp objects? Are you sure? Not sure. No. <laughs> She's like, I don't think so. There shouldn't be. And the lady's looking at Cheyenne like, oh gosh. Yeah, there was a big tree saw in her in the bottom of her book bag. I'm How like, even Lord. End up down there. A tree saw. Shaking my head. I'm like, oh my god. It was pretty funny. I'm like, only Cheyenne. Can we show them your monster buck you killed? Yes, through? yes, hold on. Let me. I could just lay it on the screen right oh, here, too. Yeah, let me just pull up my um, <laughs> monster buck here. Check that out. And where was that? Kentucky, where the tree saw came from. Yes. <laughs> but on public land, too. Yeah, I'm going to be posting a video, hopefully. I just got to edit it. Ooh. I haven't even seen it yet. I'm so excited. She sent me that picture of that buck at, like, 1030 at night. And I'm, like, waking up, and I'm like, holy that's a huge buck like that's so sick congrats the most important thing you gotta do before a long flight oh okay hold up download netflix before you get to the airport the sun's not even up yet <laughs> finally yeah. found our coffee cheers to i hope everything goes as planned on this trip because Every trip I go on, there's always something that doesn't go right, but we're keeping positive, positive vibes here. Well, now that we have our coffee, it's all positive. Before? This is true. Before, not it was looking so rough. <coughs> Choking. So we're waiting on the Skylink right now. We have to take a little train here at the Dallas airport to Terminal D. They just changed our terminal. We were in B, hanging out. And then I got a text saying, now we gotta go to D, so. Luckily, we have about an hour and a half to just relax, and then we will be landing in Oklahoma. Yeehaw. We're officially in the whip. We got a Kia, a little bit smaller than what I'm used to driving, and it's freezing out here. <laughs> when we landed in Texas on our layover, it was 41 degrees. I think it's gonna warm up to like high 60s today this thing on. Oh, it's not a button. It's an actual key. It's been a while since I've drove with a key. <laughs> you need to get something on your toes for the girl. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, so we got to figure out where we're going. We got to stop at the Wally World Walmart. Probably get a filet knife, get some snacks, food, etc. Um, and then go check into the Airbnb and probably find some some places to set some crawfish traps. I did bring four traps in my suitcase. Um, it is a little bit chilly. They just got a cold front, which I wasn't, I mean, I knew it was gonna be a little chilly, but I guess they just got the cold front. So hopefully the crawfish will still be active. We'll find out. I'm gonna need a cheap filet knife. 15, 16, $3. Bingo, three bucks. I think this is, that's the right one, right? 
Yes. So I wanted buttermilk, but I couldn't find it. So I have this adorable little thing of milk here. Uh, that's for the paddlefish. Hopefully we do catch paddlefish. Um, I'm gonna soak it in some milk for a few hours just to take out any type of fishy taste to it. I've never eaten it before, but I did a little research and I heard it could be a little fishy. So you wanna soak it in some milk or buttermilk. I also have some cat food for our traps along with chicken liver. So should be interesting. What else do we need? Toothbrush. Oh. A hairbrush. Oh, Apparently yeah. we both forgot hairbrushes. <laughs> this is probably a bad idea. Cheyenne, we're walking through the clothes section at Walmart. I didn't take a zip route. It just <laughs> the cart did. Uh-huh. Cheyenne's like, oh look at this. Oh, Dang it. Oh, it's the Walmart tanks. Yes. Eight That's bucks. For three bucks. No. These down here. Oh, I do like those, not gonna lie. They come in every color. I'm about to buy me another one. I did buy one of these tank tops in Oregon, at uh, Oregon, Oregon, in Walmart, and now I'm about to buy one in Oklahoma. This is the one I have at home right here. They're the best. I have I have every color. I think I don't have red. That's the only one. I need a brown. It's actually super nice out here. Oh, there's a big pond over there. That's like the other property. And this is our adorable Airbnb. Check it out. This is the outside. I think there's an upstairs too. We got a little dining area out here. Oh, it is so cute. And it's so beautiful out here. It's probably like high 60s right now. Not a cloud in the sky. It's not even. It's 58, 58 according to the car. 58 with the sunshine. High 60s. Anyways, let's um, park, unload, and check out this Airbnb. It's flipping adorable. The house is crazy. <laughs> well, it's a little chilly outside. You guys, this Airbnb is so adorable and so comfortable. You walk in, you have your sitting area, your couch, you have this adorable little kitchen here. Look at this, we got some real and chill. Check that out. The owner um, makes these guys, we got some cookies, beautiful countertop, adorable kitchen, love the sink. Upstairs goes to the bedroom. And of course, Shine and I have our coffee station. Super excited for that. Let's check it out upstairs. Oh, I'm so excited. This is really, really cute. It's actually way better in person, um, which is a good thing because normally on Airbnb, I feel like sometimes you get catfished, but this is definitely not a catfish Airbnb. Two big queen size beds. Let's see if I can find a light switch. There we go. Wow, this is so sick. I love it. I am so obsessed. You guys, if you are ever in Oklahoma, I'll put the city right here. I forgot what city we're in. We literally just got here. Check out this Airbnb. I'll put the link in the description below this video. But right now, we're going to unpack, get situated, and figure out what we're doing the rest of the day. Uh, let me show you the outside too. Just leave that door cracked. Here is a little outside seating area, basketball court for the kids, even though we don't have any kids right now, but <laughs> if you had kids, they can play basketball. It's a cute barn style Airbnb. Look at all this, beautiful, nice crisp air. Shines over here, taking some videos of horses, I think, cows. There's horses over there, they ran away. So much noise, I'm like, I gotta go see where how close they are. Oh, oh they're coming to say hi. I wonder whose horses they are. I wonder if this is the neighbor's lot or if this is theirs. I would say it's the neighbor's because the, the horses were in the neighbor's fence. Yeah. Wow. All right, we're gonna get unpacked. with some slime line right here. I've never heard of slime line before. Is that what it's called? Yeah, slime line. But apparently it's a thing here in Oklahoma. So we're all settled into our beautiful Airbnb. 
and we have probably about two hours before the sun goes down and I was looking on the Google Maps and I found the Keystone Dam. We're actually going to be fishing on the other side of the dam tomorrow, but right now we're on foot. We got the good old trusty Kia rental car. We got some Fibo circle hooks here, some swivels, some line. We got some catfish livers. The cat food's for the crawfish traps. Haven't decided if I'm going to put those out yet or not. We got some weights and we're going to see if we can't catch some blue catfish. So I actually went to the tackle store, um, Woody's. Woody's Tackle Shop, which is just right down the road from this dam here. Got the cheapest Zepco they had, which is a $40 Zepco. And probably going to... This will do you good offshore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? It's huge. Probably going to end up donating this reel to either the charter guide tomorrow or the Airbnb because I'm not taking it back in my carry-on bag. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and give it a try. I also got some frozen shad as well because they use shad here for bait. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a chicken liver first. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to switch it up to shad. no paper towels. Oh, my hands are getting sacrificed. Mm, mm, mm. I think I'm, I'm gonna double up on the chicken livers. We're gonna do one. Oof. If you guys if you guys eat chicken liver in the comments below let me know like how you eat them. Like you actually just cook these in a frying pan and just eat them? I'm very curious. I've never honestly met anyone who's eaten chicken livers so my grandma eats them really how does she eat them fried fried gotta be the only good way right <laughs> i mean it's probably insanely healthy for you though not gonna lie all right i'm just happy i took my jacket off so it's not getting <laughs> you using that rock <laughs> as you are your yeah. your sink <laughs> that is my my paper towel Oh, this reel is just getting full of chicken liver. It is what it is. All right, let's see how this thing casts. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I've cast that out of Zepco. Probably since I was like six. Gotta make sure you click it on. Well, now we wait. It is insanely beautiful out here. It's so quiet. The air is so crisp. It's cool. Ooh. I just got thumped. I just got thumped. There is a lot of rocks out here because Shine and I both got snagged and lost our rigs. I only bought three weights. Probably should have bought more, but didn't really think about it. Last weight, hook, and chicken liver. So we're gonna give it a go. Hopefully we can find an area where there's like a hole and no rocks. That was a good cast. I like I like that cast. So we lost four hooks, all three of our weights. I just have a 5-0 circle hook on right now, just to the line. No weights, no swivel, nothing. I just got thumped about three times. It could be a smaller cat just kind of playing with it. Hopefully he didn't just take it off my hook. I'm like, I just kind of opened the drag a little bit. I'm like, I'm just going to let him swallow this. I don't know, I'm going to reel it up. It's been a little bit of time. He might have took my bait though. And that's what it's looking like. Oh. Dang it. All right, we're gonna try this again. I don't even have a weight on. We are on our last hook. We have literally burned through our hooks, our weights, because there are so many rocks here. We keep getting snagged and cannot unsnag ourselves. So this time I'm going with the shad head because I tend to catch a lot of stuff on just the head. So 
we're winging it before the sun goes down. Cheyenne's picking up some trash over there because this little beach here, right next to Keystone Dam, is just littered with trash. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll lose this last hook real quick. <laughs> Hopefully catch a catfish, pick up some trash, and then we'll be on to the next thing, which is probably dinner. They gotta be smaller catfish. <laughs> it's thump thump, thump thump. I, I, I'm about to give up. So we definitely gave it our best shot. I mean, we have never been to Oklahoma. I have never fished these waters. I have fished for catfish before, but not here. Um, the another thing too is they haven't, I guess, lifted the dam. So there hasn't been a lot of flowing water in here. So the catfish are probably not as stacked up as they normally are if that water was flowing. So I, mean, I got a couple little nibbles. However, it didn't work out. I kept getting snagged. As you can see, rocks everywhere. So that is a part of fishing. We're going to pack up. Cheyenne's picking up some trash. We're going to go ahead and pick up some more trash. I guess people come out here to party. I mean, there's literally bonfires everywhere along with beer bottles and etc. So we're going to pick up what we can because we're here and we don't want to go in the waterways. And that's that. Tomorrow we're going to go fishing. We're going to go hopefully snag some huge spoonbill, aka paddlefish. Can't wait. I've been wanting to do it for so long. So stay tuned for that video as well. It's going to be a separate video. This is just a travel vlog video. And we're going to go get some dinner. And you never know what else. Oh, kind of just there he is. He's at the surface. Oh man.